This is one of the videos that will potentially make you a very, very profitable trader, but a lot of people will overlook this video and a lot of people will overlook this concept. And I know it sounds like a basic concept, especially from the title of this video, but there's a lot more to it than you think. And it's a lot deeper than you think and a lot of people overlook it, which is why you're not profitable or this is why you're not as profitable. Now, me as a trader, I like to make things a lot simpler than most people do. A lot of people like to overcomplicate the stuff that should not be overcomplicated. Me, however, I like to simplify everything. I like to make things super simple and not overcomplicate the stuff that should be simple. I like to make everything simple so I figure out exactly why this is doing this, why this is doing this. It doesn't need a whole quadratic formula or anything like that. The way that I make things simple is by just figuring out the why to everything, right? And in this video, we're talking about risk management. In order to become profitable, right, there's only one thing that needs to happen in order for you to become profitable. You need to make more money than you lose. So let's make that simple, right? You need to make more money than you lose. That's the first thing, that's super simple, right? Now obviously it gets deeper than that, right? So if we know that we need to make more money than we lose, what's the next step? Okay. The trades, right? We need to make more money on our winning trades than we do on our losing trades. And it sounds like the simplest thing ever. They're like, oh my gosh, you know, like he's already telling me something that I already know. If you already knew that and you just didn't apply it then if you're already, if you're not a profitable trader, because that's literally the only way you can become profitable. The strategy, in my opinion, is the easiest part, right? The strategy should be the easiest part. It's more so about the executions. Execution should be the hardest part. And as you get up and up and up, you know, in your trading career, it should just get easier and easier to execute. If I tell you, you could win $80 if you risk 100. So if you give me $100, if you're right, I'll give you 80 back. So you get the 100 back and you'll only make $80, but you're risking 100. That doesn't really make sense unless you're very, very confident that you're going to win. And it's just like trading. Now, again, trading is not guaranteed whatsoever if you're going to win or lose, but there's higher probability setups, which is why my win rate is so high. Last week, 100% win rate. The week before that, like 92% win rate. It's because I only take the highest quality setups and my risk reward is amazing. I get a one to three risk reward almost every single time. So if I risk $50, my winning trades will be $150, for example. So all I need to do is win about 35, 40% of my trades and I'll still be profitable. Just keep it that simple. And a lot of people overlook that. And it sounds simpler than I'm making it out to be, right? It sounds like, oh, well, if it's this easy and everyone could become profitable. No, because the execution, again, is the hardest part. Number one, finding a strategy that's profitable like that isn't that hard but it is gonna take some time to actually develop the strategy. Once you get the strategy down, now you have to execute. A lot of people will sell way too early or they'll sell way too late, they'll get greedy, and they don't realize that it's the emotions that are causing them to fall out of their plan. Because if you were confident in your plan, then you wouldn't really get that emotional. Humans to money, there's some sort of emotional trigger that happens that doesn't allow them to fully see their plan out on the trade. So that's something that you need to be able to get over. And it does take a while to get over that. But once you get over that, you're good to go. Like trading, once you get over that, it's like, how is it this easy? Or how is it this simple? Because at first it's super hard, but then once you really get it down, it's like, this isn't as hard as it was. Like, I don't know why I was tweaking before. Like this is actually pretty easy compared to what it was. I'm clicking the button at the right time. I'm selling at the right time. I'm not getting emotional. You know, I'm not even looking at my p &L. You know, I'm just like, I'm just trading the chart. And the way that I trade, I make the strategy super simple. So once you get the execution down and be able to control your emotions, trading is really not that hard once you get used to it. It's just about controlling you. And it's about the person that you have to become in order to be a profitable trader. If you're not profitable right now, you're not the right person to become profitable. You need to be able to change yourself to become less emotional or more disciplined outside of trading that will impact your trading. What you do outside of trading really impacts everything you do inside of trading. How you control 
emotional situations. How disciplined are you? What do you do every day? You know, stuff like that will really impact the way that you treat. So it's the person that you have to become. So like I said, with risk management, keep it simple. Risk management is the only way that you can become a profitable trader. It's about how you can manage your losses and how you can manage your winners. That's the only way you can become profitable. If you make more money than you lose. So if you're a good loser and you know how to manage your losses very well, and you manage your wins very well as well, you'll become a profitable trader. But a lot of people, they'll see my videos and they're like, there's no way I'll be able to do this. Like, I'm just way too emotional, stuff like that. Like, it just seems too hard. But in reality, it's like, it's only hard because you're on your chapter five. In order for you to get to the chapter six, you're not doing enough to get to your chapter six. And then when you're on chapter six, you have to do enough to get to the chapter seven. You keep going, keep going. And then around chapter 15 is when you start to become a profitable trader without emotions and you're able to execute almost flawlessly. Like today, for example, I saw the five minute, I saw the 15 minute, they were all looking good for upside. They were aging to the upside. It was looking very, very nice. I got in. I didn't sell after one push, right? We have so much room. The momentum was showing me to continue. I didn't care how much I was up. I was up 20%, 25%. Like that's a lot, but I don't care because it's about executing the trade. It's not about the money. Right, so then I wait, I wait, I wait, and then when I saw that it broke out with strength above a certain area, that was previous resistance, that's when I sold because I saw that it started getting weak up there and I wanted to sell with that momentum right there. And I made 30% full in, full out, no trims whatsoever. There's no point of trimming, especially on a trade like that. I was literally done in six minutes and I made 30% of my position size. And that's it, that's all you need. And then you just wait for it tomorrow and then you execute again. But a lot of people, they won't take that. You know, they'll over trade, they'll keep trading, or they'll get too greedy and then it falls back down and then now they sell for a loss, or they didn't execute where they were supposed to execute and enter where they were supposed to enter at, and they lose. They lose because they had a drawdown bigger than they wanted, right? It's also about getting the right entry, which is tying into that risk management. My risk was about five to 8%, right? If you got in a little bit later, right? It would have been a, a 10, 15% stop loss because you hesitated and got in way later. When I saw everything aligned, I did not hesitate to click the button. Why? Because I know my risk is five to 8% and I'm okay with that. I'd rather risk five to 8% than make 30%. I'll do that any day. But a lot of people don't look like that. You know, they, they're like, oh my gosh, you know, I'm going to lose this if I lose. Or they don't even think about losing. You know, they think that they're going to be just winning and then they're going to go and it hits their stop loss and they're not going to sell. Like, I'm very comfortable with how much I lose because I know that the gains that I'm going to make for my winning trades are going to make up for my losses. So I'm okay with losing. And that's, you know, another thing when it comes to risk management, becoming a good loser. So I just want to share this real quick. Also, the Cancun vlog is coming out soon. I was in Mexico. If you guys didn't already see on my Instagram story, I literally post every single day on my Instagram story. And then, you know, you guys saw my Instagram post. But I'm very active on Instagram, like my Instagram stories and everything like that. So make sure you guys go check that out. I haven't posted in a week because I've been on vacation. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you guys next time.